So guys, something huge is coming to Arcane Odyssey. If you are not within the Discord already, stay tuned and watch till the end. But before we do get into the video, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss another video. Like the video so people who don't know can see this video and know. And comment down below what you're extremely hyped for. So, if you're already within the Discord, you guys already know what this video is about. But if you are not, let me explain. Potions are coming to Arcan Odyssey, and the potions have various uh, effects and status effects. They can either proc on yourself or proc on the enemy. Now, I'm just going to read off of the description in the Trello. I'm going to leave it in the description below. Potions can be brewed in cauldrons found randomly around islands, mostly near alchemist NPCs. To brew a potion, you need two of the same catalyst items and one or more of a region item. Each brew yields two of the potion type made. So I think a region is going to be a new item that is added and a catalyst will be something that's added just for like a binder basically. I think a catalyst will uh, determine if the potion is throwable or drinkable and the region will determine the status effect of the potion that's being made. So the regions, depending on it, if you have common or rare regions, it will up the tier. Depending on the rarity and the quantity of the region, it can up the tier of your potion. Tier 1 being 1 times common regent, tier 2 being 5 times common regent, and tier 3 being 10 times common regent. Tier 4 and tier 5, tier 4 is 5 times rare regent, and tier 5 is 10 times rare regent. Now, the tiers of the potions will basically buff their uh, all around effect, their status effect, and their uh, potency. Potency is dependent on the catalyst, like I said beforehand. And uh, you guys can read all of the different uh, stuff here of what type of potency they can uh, be. Basically the form of the potion. Effects can vary from water breathing to agility boosts and to luck increasing. But I will leave the trello in the description below like I said before to, for you guys to check out all of that. Now to move on to jewel crafting. Jewels can be crafted at jewel crafting tables found around the world, which appear as small tables with gem fragments, a hammer, and a scale. To craft a jewel, you need one gem item, ruby, emerald, or sapphire, etc., and five of a region item. Only some regions can be used in jewel crafting, since not all regions have jewel effects. The ones that can be used will say so in their item description when hovered in the inventory. I'm not going to read the rest, you guys can read the rest, just a little uh, description, like half of it, to give you guys the idea. I'm going to read the jewel effects since they are less than the potion effects. Air capacity, made with water breathing regions, increasing your air meter duration when underwater. Blocking power, made with iron skin regents, increasing your blocking power percentage. Swimming speed, made with tide regents, increasing your movement speed when swimming. Attack knockback. Made with Gale Regents, adds knockback to some of your attacks. Climbing speed, made with Agility Regents, increasing your movement speed when climbing. Energy Regeneration, <laughs> made with Energizing Regents, increasing your base passive energy regeneration speed. Attack Destruction, made with Harming Regents, increasing the destruction radius of attacks that deal terrain destruction. The rest is talking about the sockets. And the basically percentage depending on tier of the jewel. But yeah, I just want to make this video for people who are not within the Discord for any reason. Make sure to subscribe like it's on the beginning so you don't miss video. Like the video so that people who need this video may see it. It might come up on their recommended. And comment down below what you are hyped for. For the next update the brewing update and make sure to have a nice day guys and see you guys within the next video